is Jameson and my wife Chelsea is behind the camera there and we put together this 1964 Volkswagen. Uh, that's what the title says, but uh, every time we buy parts for it, it ends up being earlier stuff. I don't know why, it's probably a mixed match of stuff. I don't know what owner I am. Couldn't tell you how many miles are on it, a lot. And when we got it, it was three different shades of green and you could see the road through the floorboards and it was just kind of epic. So the day we got it, uh, we were looking for a uh, Volkswagen on Craigslist because I have always wanted to do class 11 for the Baja 1000. And of course that's stock Volkswagens. And so we went and we picked this one up for 2,600 bucks. And of course I immediately fell in love with it. And uh, now, now I can't, can't hardly take it to the desert and destroy it because look at it. Um, not only being factory, it's also effing mint. Are you excited? I'm so excited. Why are you so excited? This is awesome. What's his name? His name's Green Bean. Why is it? This is green. <laughs> Here's what we came up with. We named it on the day we got it, the Green Bean, because it was three different shades of green and whatever. It was bean shaped. And so a couple uh, weeks later, my wife ended up drawing a little cartoon character, kind of like a rat fink uh, with a green bean. And so that's sort of been the car's identity ever since was the green bean she did that all with the spray cans and stencils and in fact the car itself we painted in our garage right there with rust-oleum forest green spray cans uh, that being said in fact we have zero body work experience i think it turned out okay um it's mostly a stock car it's lowered two and a half inches in the front on spindles um and I put all polyurethane bushings and all that crap in it because first we went through the Baja phase and then I was like, oh, it'll be a street car. And now it's sort of this weird rat rod thing. So it got all polyurethane uh, bushings in the front end, but um, it's still the link pin front end, stock front end. It's just lowered a little bit. The rear end has adjustable spring plate, excuse me, plates. So it can, uh, you know go up and down in the back but it's just set at stock height you know nothing fancy uh, i actually just finished this rack uh specifically for the quarantine car show like an hour ago um just welded up some brackets maybe i should enter it in the bracket stuff too welded up some brackets made uh these clamps out of aluminum we made this roof rack my wife and i months and months ago for the Pacific Northwest Octobug Fest in November, um, but it didn't quite make it to that show. So um, anyway, I got it done now. Threw a surfboard up there and we had that cool old vintage cooler. So I figured that was part of the look. It's got all four original hubcaps, which you never see anymore. So that was kind of cool to come across. Um, <laughs> One of the best features is this uh, anti-theft device on the uh, rear end here. To get into the, the deck lid, you have to bend the uh, bumper down <laughs> or else you can't get it past the bumper. <laughs> but it's just uh, mostly stock 1600 single port. Um, I did the stuff that you kind of want to do for maintenance sake. So it's got an auxiliary uh, miniature sump on the bottom so you can run a couple more quarts of oil of course it's got protronics ignition i had to convert to a 009 distributor um and i went through the whole thing and just made sure there were going to be no fuel leaks because everybody knows these catch on fire like crazy so just uh you know a little little maintenance stuff here and there nothing too crazy um for the fuel lines what i did is i went through and it's actually got uh, marine grade the uh, coast guard approved fireproof um, fuel lines in it with an emergency shut off about halfway through the car right here so if it does catch on fire <laughs> you can jump out and throw the valve and cross your fingers that not too much fuel gets back there so um, anyway I guess we'll go we'll go inside so uh, here's what I did I'm kind of a cheap bastard so what I did was this car you could see the road going by through the floorboards when we got it so I took some diamond plate of course you can't see it because the rugs are in now but 
I bent up some diamond plate instead of getting four plans and uh, set those in there, riveted them in there and uh, redid the floors. The whole interior again is that Rust-Oleum forest green, nothing fancy. I did not want to pay a hundred dollars for door cards. So I made my own aluminum ones because uh, race car, I guess, <laughs> I don't know. Um, we got this great idea driving by our, our local garbage peddler guy on the side of the highway that sells blankets. So we got these Mexican blankets and Chelsea and I ended up uh, slicing them up, cutting them up. We made seat covers and I actually rebuilt the seats. So we took these seats apart. The springs were acceptable. So we kept the springs, but I went to the carpet store and got a bunch of you know, extra cuts of, of really like deep, soft, expensive carpet. And I rebuilt the pads on the seats with the carpet. And then we put the Mexican blanket seat covers over and spray adhesive those on. And that's just the way they've been ever since. Um, the back seat's kind of cool too, because it was, at some point, the rear end uh, inside this car was uh, reupholstered. I don't know when or who or how, but it's this weird like 70s velvet stuff uh, i don't know anything else about it other than it's not stock and people always comment on oh who did your upholstery who did your upholstery couldn't tell you but <laughs> there it is uh chelsea continued the green bean motif here on the uh, glove box of course we have our factory radio you can pick up some great tunes on that works awesome and uh i mean what guy wouldn't want to have a picture of their wife and up costume on the dashboard because that's how we roll at our house. So, a little empty steering wheel again because race car, right? Why not? Um, I pop that out real quick. I am genuinely proud of this part. <laughs> so, uh, as you know, we're from the uh, Seattle area. We live in a place called Port Ludlow. Nobody knows where that's at. So, I was gonna say Seattle. You can probably imagine it rains like crazy up here. So, we're getting ready to go to the uh, Pacific Northwest Octobugs Fest and it was pouring down rain. So um, we didn't have windshield wipers at the time. The windshield wiper motors were six volt and this has been converted to 12. So the first thing we did, and I'm, I'm genuinely proud of this, is this was my windshield wiper for a while. Right here, see all you have to do is you simply reach around like, like so to the outside and you can clear the water off the windshield at your leisure or whenever necessary. Works great, never breaks, motor doesn't wear out, you know, easy to replace, dollar store, done, right? So back to the story. We're getting ready to go to October Fest. It's pissing down rain and like, what are we gonna do? Cause we need windshield wipers. I mean, Pacific Northwest, it rains like crazy, right? So uh, I ordered on Amazon, I jumped on there and I got uh, one of those voltage reducers. Um, couldn't tell you what brand. It's up there in this awesome, you know, Volkswagen style rat's nest that's only caught on fire once. And I wired that uh, voltage regulator in there to go from 12 volts to six volts. And what do you know it? The windshield wipers don't go Mach 2 anymore. They go the speed they're supposed to go. We have windshield wipers. like to work in a garage and tinker on stuff and um, we like old cars both Chelsea and I and we never intended for this to be a show car or race car 
or you know we had all these wild ideas but the product that you see in front of you is purely just for fun because we thought it was cool because we thought uh, it was a neat idea or whatever and it just came out this way uh, the other really cool thing is i don't know why i feel like every time we go to car shows the real like car guys scoff at us <laughs> and we get made fun of but this little car wins awards it's been to five car shows it's come back with three awards uh two of them one was for uh most unique vehicle that was at the shelton car show which is about a 500 car show um that was last summer uh it's very first show at the straight air volks group they had their volks fest in jamestown and uh this was the people's choice award <laughs> i couldn't, couldn't believe it <laughs> and then at october fest uh, which was a really neat show a lot of really 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 cool cars that were built much better than this this car uh came away with third place for survivor class couldn't tell you i have no idea why uh, it's just you know the little cherry on top you know because we didn't do it for any of that we didn't do it to win awards or nothing we did it just to have fun but my god uh, it it does something it has a personality wherever it goes and people are always pointing and shouting and laughing and stuff and we just love it i should probably explain 900 and excuse me 97.6 cubic inches is uh is 1600 cc's converted to imperial uh the reason we have the goofy stuff like that, the displacement on the side of the car, H and H hoopies, our last name is Hodgson, so the Hodgson Hodgson hoopies, the green bean, the character, the reason, all that's there. Um, like I said, Chelsea and I like old cars. We like art from that era. Uh, basically anything, 50s and 60s, is cool. And for me in particular, I like the artwork of uh, gassers from that era where people were hand brushing uh, designs characters lettering on the sides of their cars uh, i think it's just something kind of neat and you don't really see a lot of it anymore and so that's kind of that's kind of what the theme was with this crazy thing so there it is oh rust repair come over here rust repair so i know derek is all about rust and like all that stuff look at this Look at this beautiful rust repair that I've done with some sheet steel and pot fruits because uh, I tried fixing this door and I am not a welder um, and I was not able to tune my welder without blowing through the door. So that's what it's got for now. So game on. Uh, last but not least, I uh, really appreciate you guys putting together uh, this online show thing uh, for Chelsea and I uh, going to these car shows and whatnot. It's been something that we have tons of fun doing and it basically all got canceled this summer. It's something that I was really looking forward to and uh, this is just the silver lining to the whole virus bullshit and uh, just really appreciate it. So thank you and uh, there it is. Okay, full disclaimer. That Mustang and that Mustang and that motorcycle belong to my wife and yes, yeah, she's cooler than me.